Cincinnati's place in the ongoing debate over immigration reform takes over today's Cincinnati City Council meeting. Local 12's Jeff Hirsch is live at City Hall with the arguments on both sides of sanctuary city status. Jeff. Well, good afternoon. Cincinnati City Council voted 6-2 to two, just a little while ago to confirm Cincinnati as a sanctuary city. I'm going to get into the specifics of what that means in a minute or so, but basically this is a huge amount of symbolism. And symbolism is very important. Emotions ran high as around 50 people talked to city council about sanctuary city status, about half saying, don't do it. Some suggesting it would mean more crime. I hope you understand that by announcing that we'll be a sanctuary city, what you've done is turn on the spigot and invited this kind of thing into our city. The other half said you must do it. We have a moral obligation to stand up against unethical and immoral laws. Unless we want to have another genocide on our hands, have camps on our soil like we did in World War II with the Japanese, we are better than that. Opponents of sanctuary status said it's wrong to defy President Trump who has threatened to cut off federal money to sanctuary cities. If council approves this resolution, does the continual pushback to ignore our country's laws mean that all of us law-abiding citizens can pick and choose what laws we want to observe. But backers said not only is sanctuary status legal, but it is also moral and something to sing about. From sea to shining sea. All right, so what is a sanctuary city after all that back and forth? Well, symbolically and actually, a sanctuary city is supposed to be a place where uh, refugees or immigrants who may be undocumented are not rounded up by the city or municipal police or if they're pulled over for something like speeding or something like that they are not asked hey are you illegal and then they are sent back if there's a what they call an ICE or an immigration holder now that's already the policy municipal police departments do not enforce federal immigration law they don't so what this does is reaffirm that policy now, the question is if somebody's pulled over on a serious thing, a murder, a rape, an assault, and they go through the system and the system discovers that they are wanted for immigration, then the system, the court system, will process them accordingly. The rub comes as to whether now, if this is quote unquote official status as opposed to just the policy that's been, on, you know, been used, is this going to change anything out there on the streets? don't know. I'd like to say I know, but I don't. But it's more symbolism than actual at this point. Live at City Hall, Jeff Herschel, 12 News, back to you. But at this point. All right. Thank you, yeah. Jeff. Well,